and welcome back to my channel and do the police Sinise. I am Sinise. Today I didn't even feel like trying to get my hair together because it's all over my head. I'm looking a mess. I was just so anxious and excited about this box that I just could not wait any longer to open it. And it's probably been on the porch for probably like an hour. <laughs> and so I was like, I got to open this immediately. So I want to record and do my unboxing. And then I'll finish and get myself together for the remainder of the day. So if you're new to my channel, thanks for coming back or coming to my channel. Because I'm assuming you came back. You know, I just need for you to go ahead, please. It would be so lovely just to hit the subscribe button and just, you know, relieve yourself and set up your notifications, like this video, as well as, uh, what else am I leaving? Oh yeah, leave me a comment because I'm appreciative to everybody that continues to view my, my channel and giving all the positive love. I, I'm so appreciative of, so, so appreciative. So enough talking, let's get into this box. It comes, I believe this comes from Dooney.com. Yeah, it does. It comes from Dooney.com. I'm doing this a little bit different. My unboxing. Uh, so, I hope I get it open accordingly. Correctly. But I want you to see what I see as I'm seeing it right now. So this is my box. It's not heavy, but it's a nice size box. I didn't put that too well. I'm not worried about it. As long as I can get it open. Maybe not. Let's try it again. This it is different trying to do it overhead like that. Well, this is a good old tape because yes, this comes from Dooney.com. This is a bag. As you can see, it is a Greta. But which Greta do I have? Is it a tote? Mm, could be. Is it um, the Barlow? I don't know if it comes in Greta. But let's go ahead and see which one. This is a nice view because you really don't know what it is. But I bring to you this beautiful, beautiful bag that I'm very, very excited about. It has five feet on it. I just had to dump that over. So, can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? I bring to you the Greta, Navy Greta, and Flynn. This is the Flynn, y'all. The Flynn. I'm so excited. I've been looking at this for the past two months or so. Um, I've been looking at Flynn for the past year. I didn't know if I wanted to purchase the Flynn. I really wanted something a little bit different. Um, I didn't necessarily want, the, I think it was in Pebble Grain. I remember the City Flynn. Um, wow, I can get this open to use my cutter. This little tape. Um, I also, I can't recall any of the other, but you know, Flynn has some different material leather and what have you that it comes in and I was just like I want something different I want something different now I've been looking at the Barlow and the Brenna and then I was like which one is bigger you know I've looked at all the comparison videos and just everybody who has those bags I was just like uh and I was almost on the brink of getting the Barlow because I think that's the bigger one I think off the top of my head uh and so this bad boy popped up. I said, that's a Flynn and Greta. And they got it in Navy. You know, I have a thing about Navy Greta right about now. And so, I just had to go ahead and take that plunge. Dive on in. Make this purchase. This summer sale that's going on with Dooney.com and ILD as well is really to die for. I hope you all... Um, have some bags or are eyeing the bags that maybe you've been looking at for a while i think this is the good time to get it right now you know that's just my opinion i feel like it is so let me pull up my little taggy tag 
this is that flame look at that price look at that price then I want to show you what I paid for what did I pay for this beautiful beautiful bag check that out do you see that price it was focused let's try to get it back focused again you gotta check that price out 170 went from three 28 I know y'all like can we see the bag okay here it is here it is oh I got the flan and got the I'm so excited I was just about tonight like not leave the house today to go anywhere but I feel like I'm about to carry this man this thing right now like really 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 right now oh my gosh I got another Greta when I think that I got I've gotten all the Greta um, bags that I wanted mm -mm. Dooney strikes again with something that I just didn't have and maybe it has been in existence before prior to but I was just not checking for it you know and I think I'm going for the, the season of I wasn't checking for the bags years ago but now I am <laughs> And I'm excited and happy with every repurchase that I've made. The only thing now, I'm a stickler about the straps. Um, but I'm going to get over it because I love this bag. I love it. I am loving this flan, y'all. Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. What I am going to do... It show you the inside of this bag this is a brand new bag this hasn't been touched <laughs> by many hands I'm going to assume so the thing about the Brenna and I think the Barlow is just the way that it's made um, the craftsmanship of those bags along with the Flynn is the fact that you have the side lovely side pockets and they are button closed um, closure side pockets to the bag so they set you aside to me it's a typical tote bag but they give you the flair of having these outside compartments which this one has that uh, small slot on one side and then here there's nothing it's just the plain old pocket but that's fine that is fine it's nice and roomy it is really fine and then, of course, you have the middle section of the bag, which is also a, this is, this is probably the magnetic. Uh, actually, all of them, all of the closures on the bag are magnetic. So you have the middle compartment, which you have the standard set up with the zipper and the slot. And then on the other side, you have the two other slot pockets. If you look to see how wide this is at the bottom, that's what we have so you know you can check it out on the outside you can see the room the amount of room that's on the inside of this wonderful bag the difference in difference between the Brenna the Barlow and the Flynn is of course this is more so of a shoulder bag than anything so of course I'm putting that there I'm rocking with that really 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 lovely so this is that bag I am just like taken. I am taken, taken, taken by this bag. I had to share. I had to get it open um, so I could put it up so nobody else will see it. It did not come with a bag, which most of the the, uh, the Magrettas don't come with a dust bag. But hey, this baby is beautiful. I've added another bag, Navy Greta. Yes, I got it, got it, got it. All right, tune in. Well, I'm not going to say tune in. Part two of this unboxing will be coming shortly because I am going to do a WIMB with this video. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Don't click off, don't click off, stay on. Don't fast forward, stay on. All right, I got myself together. I did the unboxing really, really quick. Looking a hot hell mess. 
but now I'm back with the WIMB so I combined my video which is rare that I do that but I wanted to go ahead and do that because I was so excited to carry this bag today so let me bring back to you this lovely Greta Flynn oh my gosh this thing kind of heavy right now but I am loving 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 this Look at this. Let me bring myself out of here and showcase this bag more. Look at this. So you see how it resembles that Brenna and that Barlow with the the whole indentation, the lovely folding of, I always think of it like a flower type thing. Um, but you see that this is a nice size bag. So it does have the five feet um, underneath or on the bottom with also a very reinforced bottom so this one is very sturdy in my eyes very very sturdy um you do have the lovely doing the in burke um gold plate on the front and so yeah let me show you because i need to put this down this thing is heavy let me show you what this bag is looking like thus far i do have something some stuff on the outside pockets so you will see that not much because I don't need to weigh that down but definitely the middle compartment of this bag is weighed down so let me sit right here I don't have a stool or anything but this is the bag so let me try to put the bag in here let's get started so in the front compartment I have my pen pouch and my hand sanitizer. I kept it simple because these are the items I, I wanted to really get to quickly. I didn't want to have to dig to the bottom of the bag to get the pens out nor the hand sanitizer. Generally, I put my hand sanitizer in the slot pocket on the inside, but because I had so much going on, I really didn't even want to kind of feel that the pressure of where it's located against everything else. So I put it on the outside, which I'm very satisfied with. It worked very well for me to get there rather quickly. And then on the back part of this uh, bag, the back compartment, I just put my um, extended charger here and my earbuds. I was kind of like iffy in putting that in there because I wanted to be more secured. So I think for the future, I probably would not put these because it's a small device. I don't think that it will slide out before my moment of, of just security. I'd rather not have it on the inside, so I'm not going to do that again. All right, let's go ahead and get to this. Now, if you paid attention to my page um, over the last week, I think I posted about the Ziploc bags. And so I love these Ziploc bags, but let me tell you what I did with this one. This is one of the essential, the essential ones. And so it is a little bit bigger of a bag and I got a little bit too happy with this bag, which I'm fine with. It's just plastic, but, um, I pierced it because I was forcing the item in. So I have a little hole here, um, but that's fine. I needed to expand the bottom first before I really put the item in. And the item of choice that I put in here because I didn't want it to be naked in the bag was Avon Skin So Soft. Now, for those that don't know anything about this, let me tell you. When you're dealing with getting out here in the springtime, in the summertime, in the fall, possibly even the winter, and you're having to deal with the mosquitoes, and you're going to be sitting outside for a minute, no matter what it is, you're going out for lunch, you're having a barbecue, whatever the case may be, or you might just be sitting outside to lounge, and you know with some bugs around, put your skin so soft on, please. It will help you a great deal to battle those mosquito bites. What I can say, it works majority of the time. Sometimes, maybe I may not put enough on there, but I like to have this now just in case, especially with the kids, because um, I might just decide to abruptly just, you know, go to the park just to have a, a little quick moment of allowing them to run or what have you. And this is good to have on hand. So I use one of these Ziploc bags with this design of the leaves on it. I think these are blue leaves. And I just use that. Hey, you can't go wrong. 
So I have that. I'm just going to start dropping some stuff on the floor. But I have that in the bag. Okay, y'all. I had to get this. What is this, you ask? This is a back, sc back scratcher. I needed this. <laughs> I just been like really going through with it like my back is itching I think I had some mosquito bites and I couldn't get them the way I wanted to like they were in the most awkward places so I went on Amazon and looked this up and then I saw this I was like this would be pretty cool I think the little claws on it won't be too too much for me but when I got it they, it came in this little small box I said they duped me why did they give sent this but I forgot this is extends so I can cover a whole lot of areas other than my back. You know, if I need to get to the bottom of my foot, hey, I got this right here. So I really, really like this and I'm carrying it because these bugs are out and you just never know where you're going to get bitten. I do have this Lux Therapy Scalp Soother. Hey, I don't even think I put the link down for these people, but I need to put the link down for these people because they are the bomb. They are the bomb. This is worth having. If you wear wigs, if you have a protective style such as braids, even if you have a perm or you're just all natural, it really doesn't matter. This is better to soothe your scalp than trying to scratch with your nails. I tell you, I hit my nails and I get these lovely cracks on the sides because they're long and it's irritating when I'm scratching it and I feel it feels so good and then my nail is cracked and then my hair gets caught up in it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. So definitely invest in it. Okay, so as I suggested that for those that are usually putting their extra mask in a Ziploc bag anyway, I thought it was cute to just have it in, in here and you can see what kind or what color my masks are what kind of mask that I have and the color so I like that and I also just threw some um, alcohol alcohol pads in here um, because if I do have a mosquito bite I like to go ahead and put that on this so it won't you know itch so much so I have that I also have my trusty tablet because you just never know actually for this particular outing I needed it for business so I took this with me I don't want to just throw that on the floor. <laughs> um, I got this as a free item from my local um, nail supply store. This is the Clean Hand Sanitizer Gel. It says it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Smart clean without water and soap. And it has it's 70% alcohol. And I can't remember I opened it. I don't think it had a special scent. Did I open it? Is the question. I didn't open it. I thought I dreamed. I guess I just dreamed about it. But this is that hand sanitizer by Gustar. I don't know, you know, if they even sell this in the store or if it's just catered to the nail supply. But I have this in my bag because uh, I said I was going to try it out. Obviously, I have yet to try it out. So I'm still going to keep it in the bag. Because I went out and I never know when I might need to transfer some information from my jump drive because I keep all of my my um, business information on an external drive. So I have my Toshiba uh, external drive in this lovely case with the cord so that, you know, I like to try to stay organized with my items and I put it in here. I need to clean it off some, but yes, it's in here. Also... I have my Greta wristlet. Um, this is in medium, I believe, the medium size. I really wish it came in large because I actually love Greta print and navy. Um, I just kind of use this as my little candy thing because do you have some gum? Do you have some candy? It's good to have it because it's like hidden in here so you wouldn't know if I did have some or not. Because if I say no, you know, you would not know. <laughs> so I have that here. I also have my coin purse. I love it, love it, love it. It is not packed with a lot of things as usual. I still am using my train ID case um, for this for my, my cards. Because if they're the frequent ones, I'm just pulling this out real quick without having to dig and look for them. If I showed you my mom's kiss lock, 
He was like, wow. But she, this is her business of, of how she, she operates and she needs all those cards. You know, you might have your medical cards and medical cards can be so many different types of cards. So yeah, that's what I have in there. Now, I have my two checkbooks. My business, anybody has a business, the business uh, checks are longer. And so what I was gonna do was switch out of this um this purple checkbook that I got and go back to using the very first checkbook that I ever received that was attached or a part of my Kilty bag, crossbody bag that I got back in 95, 96, 1995, 1996. Um, I had some other little things in here. Oh, I think I got some. Yeah, I got some other stuff I forgot was in here. It's all good. It's all good. It was just my little secret compartment. Um, I actually put, because I kept it in my my dress, my uh, nightstand, but I also have my ducks. I just put them in here. It's the only three ducks that I have, my only stickers. I really hope one day in life I could get more. <laughs> but I was going to transfer my checkbook over to this because I have my personal and my check my business um together i just need to find another checkbook for my business all right so i do have my bath and body works aroma therapy stress relief and eucalyptus and spearmint moisturizing body cream i just use it for my hands it was on sale back earlier this year 2021 and i got a couple of these and this is great i really love it especially kind of when i need that that boost it's you know you having a business meeting you bored and you ready to get up out of there put you some of that on it'll it'll really get you back in the game really get you back in the game all right just a few more items not too many um because i wanted to share an idea i post or i packed my um something that I'm work, working on, a prototype of, this is my business, Be Undefeated Therapeutic Solutions. And if you want to know more about it, about it, you know, definitely look it up. I try to keep my personal and my business separate, but because this was in my bag, this is a prototype of something that I'm working on. And I wanted to share and just kind of get an idea. So I packed this in there. All right. So I did something that I haven't done that I've been meaning to do. And that was to transition my makeup from my usual to this clear pouch which i've been wanting one of these for the longest i actually wanted the one that was more of a not circular but the other shape that they used to have but i do have this one and i'm not complaining at all this thing is huge to really see all of my things in this pouch versus the other one, that other one was really, really packed with stuff. I mean, truly packed. You can see how you um, the width of this bag is from the bottom. And you can also see the side. Um, more can actually go in here. But of course, you want this smooth zipping action, open and closure. Oh, open and closing action going on but i can see everything and i love it so i'm not gonna take everything out but i did go ahead and include my swivel stick here and my um mirror as well as my dental picks denty pick thingy majigs one day i'm gonna look it up and share the correct information but you can see everything and even my Lysol spray is in here. I just put it in there, which is not makeup wise, but hey, I just threw it in there because it fit. It was just a good, good look at the time. Uh, let's throw that over here. Taking notes. I take notes. Some people carry um, notebooks. I have that too. Little notepads. But I love clipboards. I am a fanatic for clipboards. I have several different ones different colors so depending on my mood that day if i'm wanting the big one i'll pick you know pick that one out my see-through whatever but this one i got a couple of small ones and so i i love to put my post-it notes on here and just take notes because it gives me that sturdy hard uh background back not the background but a sturdy hard back where i could just take my notes and i'm good usually when i'm writing with my pad i like for it to be bold 
and so I usually use my Sharpie permanent marker with the fine tip. This is the ultra fine point. So I use that so I can really see and I just like that for meetings. All right, I do have my keys on the key fine reminder or the key reminder. And I also have my phone. Uh oh, let me turn it. My phone in the slot. So they fit perfectly here. I did not utilize the other slot, nor did I in use the zipper or the other slot for this because I really didn't need to. I mean, this bag packs a punch. I really, really love this flan. I love it. I did not close it because it was so much, but I didn't really feel the need to because with this flan, it gives you that tote feel, but that tote looks a little bit more classier versus just that standard look. Like if you just can close your eyes, not close your eyes, but just imagine not having this dentate indentation here. It will look just like a tote. Just look at this side. It will look just like a tote. More so maybe like the Russell tote. But because of this added uh, sections in the front, the added pockets, it I love how they designed this. It's really, really, really nice. So I'm excited that I have this bag. Um, this is going to probably be a really good work bag for me. Work meeting bag. I think really a meeting bag. Like seriously. Um, it's stylish and it's just I can pack what I need and I'm good. I enjoyed having this and feeling like I had everything that I need without um, really not being in sync. I really felt like I really was prepared for my business meeting without having to look like I'm really carrying a business tote or business bag. Uh, Cause sometimes those bags can be kind of depressing. Um, let me show you what this looks like for the carry. I mean, come on! All right, I love this flan. Look at that. Look at it. It meets. It just the shoulder, the elbow room that you have. I love it. Can't go wrong. Would I get another flan? I don't know. I gotta really think about that. Like, I love this Greta. This Greta is just, it's just wonderful. I don't know if I would get it in the city leather or I think it was the pebble grain that I saw. Safiano. I don't know. I just, I'm loving this. So if y'all haven't seen it, y'all better hurry up and grab this because this one is marked down. Don't forget, go back to the beginning of this video. This bag is marked down. I was hoping and keeping my toes and fingers crossed for it to be marked down. Um, Dooney and Burke is holding almost a thousand of my points hostage i don't know why and it wasn't like that at first um say for instance they really have prevented me because once i added to the points that they have allowed me to do have two opportunities to get 30 dollars off my purchases and this is the fine time to do it with all of these uh sales and i don't know if that's the reason why this happening or if it's some type of other hang up that's happening in the system i don't know but I know I'm due over or close, very, very close to a thousand additional rewards points. I am a loyal um, or I'm on the loyalty status. And so ain't no problem with anything else. I just I just don't understand. But I do like the fact that they've implement implemented this app. Um, the app to me, um, I mean, they put it out there last year and it was like, how am I going to know about these exclusives outside of the emails? Don't everybody get the emails? And then once I downloaded the app, uh, app the app, <laughs> um, things have gotten better um, with knowing ahead of time these sales. Like I knew about these sales two weeks ago. So, or probably almost two weeks ago. So this is pretty, pretty dope. I really like it. The summer sale, I think, is really, really good. I think it's better than what it was last year. But I got to go and compare notes to really, really um, 
say for instance or really clarify that that's the truth but right now in the moment i feel like that these cells right now are really good and so i'm just winding down like what i'm getting and still hoping that they're gonna re-release some oldies that i don't have in my collection um i'm really really hoping because i don't even know if this flint had previously been out I hadn't seen any reviews on YouTube regarding this particular Flynn. Flynn, I mean, there's plenty of reviews of the Flynn bag, but the Greta uh, Flynn, I hadn't seen. And so I was just like really, really excited because I really had been looking at it. So I was happy it was in this material. So that's my what's in my bag. My unboxing as well. I hope you enjoyed. This is a long video. I try not to do long videos but hey i was really really excited about this bag so i just wanted to combine it in all just in one and just be done but i may come back again with this flynn because um hey never know i also need to do a follow-up with you all uh -huh. it's a serious follow-up it's a shocking follow-up and so and it's involving a bag that i don't like and i was really prepared to do a giveaway but instead somebody hijacked me <laughs> and got this bag and i got to tell you all about it so stay tuned for that update very very soon all right y'all have a good one don't forget to like this video bye